Oh look, welcoming committee. Hello. Yes, I'm uh, I'm coming back. You there. How is it that you're leaving Nagasadao's tomb by yourself? Ah. You went in for your final test, didn't you? Where is Master Uthar? He's um He's uh he's doing he's doing Sith Master things. I don't know what you're talking about. You lie. Hmm. Um well, you know, if you stand aside, I won't hurt you. It's it's a spy. Quick to arms. Oh god damn it. If the spy was able to kill Master Uther. Yes. Don't be such a coward. Kill the traitor. Do it now. Oh god damn it. Why can't you all be as cowardly as that guy? He had the right idea. Well, hopefully we can choke a bit. You deal with them all separately. You die. And you die. We'll throw in a healer. Come on. Yes, yes, you slowed me down. I feel so very, very, very defeated. I am, however, stuck, apparently. There we go. The game wasn't quite sure whether I was allowed to continue or not. So that's a precursor to the rest of the academy. Because now we have to kill everybody in. Yes, hello. Pleasure to meet all of you. Now, the most beneficial thing here would actually be. We went through our fourth point so quickly. But that's not too bad. Yes, yes. Healy, healy. Jolie might be in trouble, because he's not with us. He's away, uh, so we'll throw down a heal. And it apparently didn't affect him in the slightest. Well, we'll go pick him up. He's probably gonna die, but that's okay. We'll go collect him. Yeah, party member down. I wonder where he is. Oh, he's up here. Okay. I wasn't sure where he ended up. He did a fair bit of damage before he died, though. I'm pretty impressed. Alright, let's get him. Nicely done, Jahani. Oh, come on. Get over there. There you go. Good night. Alright. Go lead back. Throw down a heal for him. Throw down two. We're feeling generous. And we won't actually have any more fighting to do except for this guard that's out here before we're off of the planet, so it doesn't matter too much. Yes, yes, hello. Do you remember me? You told me I needed a ticket to get inside. This was my ticket. Alright, let's get out of here. Those two protocol droids still doing whatever. Well, the one protocol droid in the astromech. Just hanging around, doing droid things. So we'll head back into Dresh Day. And then we'll actually head into the cantina because Juhani's friend is over here. Hello? If you must know, I intend to take the first ship off this rock. Why should that interest you? I trust you got whatever you wanted from the tombs? I did, I did. Uh, where, why are you leaving? I already said, didn't I? I don't want to still be around when they start asking questions about you. It's true, but where will why you do go? I don't care. I have no intention of opposing you. Perhaps you could go back to the Jedi. I did. I don't know. I'll think about it. Just leave me alone, Jahani. Okay. Well, you have a nice life. Then leave me be. Bye. If you come here without Jahani, you can kill him. I mean, you could kill him even if she is there, but she'd object. You can get away with just murdering him straight up and getting the dark side points if you really wanted to. But I don't have any particular desire to do so. 
mainly because there's not really anything in it for me. Um, actually, I do want to head back to the canteen just for a second. I just want to see if um, there were any out any other items that I wanted. Because the place we're going to go to after this is Yavin. Because if you go back there after you've finished all of the planets, you can get some special items. But seeing as there's a special item shop here as well, I'll just have a quick look and see what you've got. I'm pretty sure it's just armor and such now, and not something that I want. Regenerator, huh? That's actually kind of cool, but no. Constitution increase? No, I'm cool. Yeah, you don't have anything good. Well, you do have things that are good, but you have nothing that I particularly want because, well, we're Jedi and we can't wear cool armor. I would really have appreciated the ability to pick uh, certain feats that would let you use heavy armor or other such things because, you know, like, th there's a certain appeal to being able to go around in Mandalorian heavy armor with a lightsaber in one hand and forced lightning just crashing out from the other and just straight up murdering everybody. That would be kind of cool. That would be amazing. You can do that in the tabletop RPGs. And now we have somebody who will introduce himself. He's a bit of a dick. What the hell is your kind doing here? Bad enough I have to deal with all these other idiots, but now there's a stinking Cathar on this world too? I have as much right to be here as you do, sir. Yeah, just ignore him. <laughs> yeah, do like the Jedi tells you and back off. She's a Jedi too, you know. People are pathetic. It's no wonder we crushed your world so easily. What? What do you know about my world? Oh God! I know enough to. <sighs> Wait a minute. You look familiar somehow. Yep. You. Do you two know each other? This doesn't concern you, Jedi trash. You know, hmm. it very much does. Now, where could I have... No, he's dead, and she likely is too. I... What are you talking about? Maybe I was wrong. Still, I think a specimen like you would be a nice addition to my collection. Collection? So, what would <laughs> it take, Jedi, for you to sell your pet here to me? Well, you know, she's not a pet. She's our own person. Now, don't be so selfish. We both know cat there aren't real people anyway. Oh, the females right. Make them okay. Pets. But the males should be put down like the animals they are. I remember one time on Taurus. Oh, God. What? What did you say? You know, be chill, Jahani. Be chill. What did you do on Taurus, you scum? Put one of you down like the animals you are. So easy. Then I saw one of the females on the auction block. <sighs> but those darn Jedi. <laughs> them damn Jedi's. What? Me? Oh, oh, now I recognize where I've seen yep. that face before. You were the little Cathair I was going to purchase. But those Jedi came and stole my pet away from me. So help me, I will slice your head off. What are you talking about? When I was fighting with the Mandalorians against the Cathair, I developed an appreciation for these creatures. They make excellent servants if properly trained. You know, if I don't you kill you, she will. I act all prim and proper, but inside you must feel the same way I do about the lesser, non-human. You're not human! The Sith at least let their feelings show on the outside. Come now. Will you let your pet go? I'm sure we can come up with a price we both think is fair. Now I'm pretty sad because there actually is no way to kill this son of a bitch. Like right now. There is if you do um, a, another planet first and you bring Jahani with you. But because I haven't really brought her with me on any of these trips because she hasn't really been all that useful when I've had Bastila instead to pick. Um, this is the first time we're getting this dialogue, and we won't be able to finish this little quest line where he does come back and he does try to take her away. 
Uh, but for now, we're just gonna go with she's not for sale. And I will see you dead for what you have done to my people. Hey, uh, hey, uh, calmly, calmly. Don't be hasty. Yeah, you remember how this, you know, th this led you to the dark side the first time. There is peace. Damn straight. I, I will remain calm. I am a Jedi now. Yes. My lust for vengeance must be curbed. Yes, yes. Say no to the dark side, but <laughs> I will have you yet. Ha! You're a real idiot, you know that? And see, no, you, you can't talk to him again. No, I don't want to talk I don't want to talk to the guard. I want to talk to the other guy so I can slice him up. But no, you're not allowed to do that. It is bad, and you should feel bad for wanting to do so. So now we have some cool new toys in the form of lightsaber crystals. Uh, what do we actually have? We've got a crate dragon pearl in here and a pillar. Is the, is the Solari actually better? Attack bonus of 3. Plus 1d8 damage to the dark side, I believe that is. And a physical damage bonus of 3. Versus damage bonus of 3 energy. So 4 to 18. Plus 1 to 8. Versus dark side and three physical. Or. A straight up plus three. I like the straight up plus three. It doesn't actually matter all that much. Because we will be getting a new. A new uh, set of crystals. When we go back to Yavin. Actually. You know what? I will put this in that. God damn it. Because Jolie does need a little bit of help. Um, she should be okay. Rubat, what does that actually do? Plus one attack, plus one. Um, actually... No. I will keep the Rubat in there. It doesn't really matter all that much. Because, as I said, we're going to be getting some new crystals. So, let's just quickly head off to... Yavin, because there is a fight that happens there, so I'll do that, and then I will um, I will buy stuff and things off screen, because that's nice and easy, and that makes everybody happy. Uh, we haven't seen this particular cutscene before, so I'll let it play. I do like all the leaving cutscenes, they look really nice. I mean, they're, they're aged, obviously, but most of them look pretty cool. Off we go, into the depths of space. And I think we made it all the way to Yavin. No, that's just the hyperspace thing. We made it to Yavin and we didn't get attacked. I was wondering if we might. Oh yeah, and Karth, we should talk to you about Dustal. Hey man. Yes, what's on your mind? So, you know, do you think you'll see Dustal again? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether Good or not my son again, I, I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate. I wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for all your help. Oh, you're welcome, Carl. See? I can change, too. I don't know. Again, I feel like Carl gets a bit of a hard rap because he he's the average dude who doesn't get told anything because he's not a special snowflake. You know, he's not a special Jedi snowflake. So they feel he shouldn't, you know, meddle in things that are not his affair. And he's understandably not trusting of people after one of his closest friends betrayed him. I'm not saying that he's a perfect character because there's so many things they could have changed to make him better. But I can understand his motivation. And I can understand his characterization. And he's not nearly as annoying as Caden, who has none of those reasons that he does. Alright. I am back, yes. It's a trap! Hello, Trandoshans. A question I'd be interested in the answer to. Oh, good. So they tricked him, basically. Well, I'm gonna try again. Leave. Damn it. 
Really? Cause you know, I'm I'm pretty sure I can kick all your asses. Kill him. See, he didn't even hit me that time. I got this. Oh god. Maybe I don't. <laughs> um You know, I, I'm not really criticizing, but if you guys could help out a bit, that would be really good. No. It's cool, just leave it to me. I got this. No worries. Good god. It'll not be so bad after we take out a couple of them. For now, it is a little bit tricky because some of them are shooting at us and some of them are hitting us with really big swords. Alright. Oh, you two got your levels. Oh, well, I will leave that for now then. Oh, hey, be cool. Alright, throw down a heal or two. And let's go kill this one. You know, any time that you want to move would be great. Thank you. We could probably be choking a bitch as well. You know, actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna throw in some chokes. There we go. Problem solved. And we'll go beat up on this one while they take out those two. For the order! Really? You decided to come help me instead of me? God damn it. There we go. We got a level as well. Perfect. And we saved our friend. Yay. So I'll do the levels in a second. Those bastards! Probably a good idea, man. It's probably a good idea to get rid of the bodies. Well, it was what, like nine versus one before we turned up? So you're welcome. And he's got a special stash! And he's right about it not being cheap. I mean, look. Look at all of these things. They're really expensive. Except that one. <laughs> of course, the ones that I click on there are not the expensive ones. But the really important things that he's got are these. And yes, those are special crystals that go on a lightsaber. And they are not uh, power crystals. Well, they are power crystals, but they're not power crystals in the sense of... Um, like the Solari crystals. They're power crystals that go in the blade slot. So they change the color of the blade, but also change the effects of the crystals that you put in the, in the lightsabers, which is really, really cool. And it's easy to miss them if you're playing through the game the first time, because you might not know that he has a secret stash. And so you might not come back here. You might not ever come here, in fact, if you... Well, you might come the first time thinking, oh, it's a new planet to explore, and then find out that it's just a space station with four sections before getting to this particular one. And a strange guy who sells you stuff and things and will buy all of your stuff and things for really expensive prices. So you might only ever come here once or twice just to get rid of some things that you don't want for some extra cash and never find out that he's got these cool things, among other things that he's got. So I'm going to end the video here and when we return I will show you the cool things that I've purchased and we will head off to the final planet. The final countdown, the Starforge and Malik. With me, Grey Hunter. So I shall see you in the next video.